2023 now. When you think of hospital volunteers, chances are you think of those that greet you out the door, answer phones, and visit patients. But there are so many other unique opportunities for hospital volunteers in Southwest Louisiana. Here's an inside look into a medical museum of sorts at Christus St. Patrick Hospital. This picture led to the explosion of a passion for Bernadette Pontal, a volunteer turned founder and curator of the Heritage Center at Christus St. Patrick Hospital. I was given an order to go and hang this particular picture and therefore I took off to find a space and in turn found this space and just kind of increased it a bit. A bit indeed. That picture of the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word is just one piece of history in this space, chocked full of medical memorabilia and the story of how this hospital came to be in 1908. It's a hidden treasure. It's such a rich part of our heritage dating back into the 1800s and it helps us understand where we've come from and where we are now. Volunteer coordinator Gene Zimmerman helps place those with special interest and talents into the parts of the hospital that can most use it. For Sister Mara Terrio, that's been all around the hospital, including the Heritage Center. We want to be here as long as we can. Two sisters still serve at St. Pat's today with the same mission from 1908. Dear Lord, help me to bring your loving healing presence to all I meet and minister to today. Milestones in care happened in these walls during Southwest Louisiana's monstrous hurricanes, Rita in 2005 and Deadly Andre in 57. When the patients and their families were brought to this hospital, which played a pivotal role in bringing families together as well as mending them, the doctors asked the sisters to tape with a microphone the stories uh, from the patients. Those stories helped determine if Audrey's survivors still had missing family members. The original reel is now on display at the Heritage Center, part of a special collection reverencing those who've gone before, patients, medical staff, and ministers. They can come here and know that the healing ministry of Jesus Christ is, aren't just, isn't just verbiage, that their loved one is being cared for, they're being reverenced, they're being respected, as so many before them. And if you're interested in finding out more about volunteer opportunities at St. Pat's, including there at the Heritage Center, just call 431-7941. And Ben, it was so neat to see this um, hurricane display they have there and mm -hmm. to see how hospitals have played a role during those major storms. I know yeah. during Rita, um, we weren't at KPLC, but a lot of KPLC employees took shelter at St. Pat's yeah. and they were there for um, several days. And then during Audrey, to see that they have that reel where the patients mm -hmm. were interviewed is so yeah. neat. Really neat stuff. And talking about tropical stuff. In fact, we do have, believe it or not, a tropical storm out in the uh, Pacific. So we'll be watching that for you. Thankfully, no impacts on mm -hmm. us in southwest Louisiana, but hurricane season officially starts on Saturday. Hard believe it or not, it's believe. almost here. Yeah, I know. And to see something already brewing up, I'm glad that it's not in our mm -hmm. area. All right. Thanks for that, Ben. 527 now. We want to say good morning to today's Sunrise Facebook. For